Hello and welcome to another episode of NCIX PC Behind the Scenes. My name is Brian and I'm here today to show you how to simply overclock an Ivy Bridge CPU. Now, this CPU has been out for nearly a year, so uh, we have still had a lot of comments on how to overclock this CPU uh, on our Facebook page, on our YouTube comments, as well as the PC Advisor inbox. So today, we're going to show you how to overclock the CPU very easily. Today we're going to show you how to overclock with an i7-3770K as well as an ASUS Sabertooth Z77. Uh, the settings and options will look a little bit different depending on what manufacturer you're using as well as the tier of motherboard you have. For this simple overclock, there are only 5 settings you have to manipulate. The ratio of the core, V-core, load line, the memory timings, as well as the memory voltage. Now, the first thing we're going to talk about is your core ratio. Up here, we have the maximum frequency of a 3770K running at 3.9 GHz. Now, we want this to hit 4.2, so right now the stock ratio is at 39. So, what I'm going to show you is how to hit 482 in this sample. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is the CPU voltage, also known as the V-Core. Now, this, what this is, is the main power going to your CPU. So Ivy Bridge doesn't require that much, so all we're going to do is 1.150. Now, as you can see, it has turned yellow, notifying you visually that you're approaching the danger zone. Kind of like the Gigahertz Fairy's face protector protecting his face. So what we have here is the CPU load line calibration. What this is in a combat v -droop. Now, pretend this is your CPU frequency, and this is your voltage. We're going at max load. Now, for your drupal hit. Voltage is not hitting target anymore. So to combat this, we have what's called load line calibration. So, depending on what setting you have for load line calibration, you'll hit target or a little bit lower. But if you hit set it too high, you'll hit what's called feed boost. Then you'll hit voltage too high intended and you'll permanently damage your CPU. This is what we call the danger zone. Now, for this 4.2 GHz overclock, all we need is a medium load line calibration. Now, the next thing we're going to show you is how to set the memory. For this pack we're using is a Corsair Platinum 1866. So, for this pack of RAM, we have XMP. All you have to do is turn on XMP. So this will set your frequency, your timing, and your voltage. Now, for those that do not have XMP, let me show you how to do it manually. First, your memory frequency at 1866 for this pack of RAM. Your timing, 9, 10, 9, 27, 2. Now, for those that are using different packs of RAM, you'll have to check your packaging for your timing and your frequency as well as your voltage. Last but not least, we have to set the voltage too. This pack of RAM is using 1.5 at the DRAM voltage. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of NCIX PC Behind the Scenes. It is important to test this overclock with the testing methodology as mentioned in the previous video. It is even more important to try this uh, testing methodology with stock settings on your computer to see if it's even stable to begin with. Thank you for tuning in! Don't forget to subscribe! These goggles, they do nothing! Now you hit a voltage higher than intended and potentially damaging your CPU permanently in what we call the danger zone. Okay, let's keep that in. <laughs> God.